that you know the basic 46 hiragana, I want to introduce to you what happens to the sounds of these hiragana when you add accents to them. Um, in, the, in the hiragana chart, there are four columns that can take uh, what's called the tenten accent. And they look like um, two short diagonal lines in the upper right hand corner. So uh, the ka, the ka column of hiragana, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, these five can take the ten ten accents. So kakiku keko, also sashi suseso, tachitsu teto, and there's only one other column. Hahihu heho can also take these tenten accents. What happens to their sounds is, uh, well, first of all, let's review. Uh, you guys know that you know that the first row of hiragana. Everything ends in a. Ah. It rhymes, right? A, ah, ka, sa, ta, na, ha, ma, ya, la, wa. And then this is an exception, right? This is just n. Mm. It does not end in a ah sound. And then e. In the e row, you have e, ki, shi, chi, ni, hi, mi, and ri. In the u row, u, ku, su, tsu, nu, hu, mu, yu, ru. And in the arrow, e, ke, se, te, ne, he, me, re. And in the o row, o, ko, so, to, no, ho, mo, yo, ro, and wo. And of course, um, the columns always start with the same sound. So this is the K sound column, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. This is the S column, sa, shi, su, se, so. The T column, ta, chi, tsu, te, to. And the H column, ha, hi, hu, he, ho. What happens is that when you add the ten ten accents, the K sound becomes a hard G sound, not a J, but a G, G. So ka, ki, ku, ke, ko becomes Ga, gi, gu, ge, and go. Ko becomes go. Ku becomes gu. Ki becomes gi. They all work that way. So the S sound, when you add ten ten, the S becomes a Z sound. So sa becomes za. So becomes zo. Su becomes zu, and se becomes ze. She is weird though. She is an exception, so I've put gray in, in the background. You ex um, remember that she is already strange. Uh, she didn't did. Uh, she does not follow the pattern to begin with, right? Because um, even without accents, she is weird. You expect she to be sa si. Su se so, if it were to follow the regular pattern, but it's already she. It's already strange. Well, when you add accents, it also does not follow the pattern. You expect it to be a z sound, a za, z, zu, ze, zo, but it is not. It is a j i sound, g, g, g as in oji san. So um, the grade ones are weird already to begin with without accents and they also don't follow the pattern. They're rule breakers when you add the 1010 accents. So be careful with this one, G. The T sound column, ta, ta, te, and to, they become D sounds. So ta becomes da, te becomes de, to becomes do. But chi and tsu already don't follow the normal pattern. They, do, they are not t sounds, right? It's not t and tu, it's chi and tsu. So when we add accents, chi becomes ji. And you might say, but sensei, you already told us that this one is ji. Well, this one is ji as well. They're both ji. So this one is almost never used. 
so don't worry about this one at all. You don't even have to learn it, really. And then tsu, tsu becomes d z u, z, z. Like um, there are many goods in this store. Goods. It's that sound. Z, z. So da, z, de, and do. Now, what's kind of nice about these three columns, the way you can remember um, that t becomes d, and s becomes z, and k becomes g, they're actually related sounds. They are related sounds. Think about how you make k sound in your mouth, in your throat. K, k, and g, g. Both of them, you're doing exactly the same thing with your mouth and your tongue and your throat. K and g. It just happens that the G sound, the hard G sound, you're using your voice, g, g. Where the K sound, you're not using your voice. If you put your fingers to your throat, you can feel your throat vibrate when you say g, g. But you cannot feel that vibration when you say k, k. Uh, but otherwise, you're doing exactly the same thing with your, um, with your muscles. Another way to say that is when you say the G sound, g, g, and then pretend you've lost your voice, you have laryngitis, you can't use your voice anymore, whisper the G sound, whisper g, and what do you get? G, g, k, g, whisper g, 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 g. You actually end up with a K sound. That shows you that you're doing exactly the same thing with your mouth, your tongue, your throat. G and K are the same. It's just that G, you're using your voice, and K, you are not using your voice. It's an unvoiced sound. Well, the same thing is true for the S versus the Z. If you say Z, Z, notice how where your teeth are together, where's your tongue, what are you doing with your mouth? Z, Z. What are you doing with your lips? Z. Now whisper Z, Z. Pretend you've lost your voice. Z. You end up saying an S sound. Okay? So the whispered sound is S, the voiced sound is Z. Same with T versus D, T, T versus D, 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 D. You can feel your throat vibrate in D, D. Put your fingers at your throat, D, D. Now whisper it, D, 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 D. You end up with a T sound. So. That's uh, hopefully going to help you remember that ta becomes da, sa becomes za, ga becomes ga. And then the gray ones are strange. She becomes ji, chi also becomes ji, so we never use it. And tsu becomes z, d, z, u, z, z. That's different from s, uh, sorry, from su becoming z. Zu. This is a Z-U sound. Su went to the zoo. Zoo. This is Z. Z. Like D-Z-U. Z. -Z, -U. Z. Uh, and then my next video, a separate video, is going to explain what happens to the ha hi hu he ho column. If you, um, if you have, if I gave you a paper hiragana chart, Perhaps I did not, but um, if I gave you a paper one, then, oops, then um, it shows you on the back that k becomes g, s becomes z, and t becomes d. And again, my next video um, will explain what happens to the ha hi hu he ho column, because that one's a little bit different.